Today on our channel, Life as an AT Dog, we are going to review the Our Generation School Room. I can't wait to give you a tour of the room and show you all the items that came with it. Now I am going to review the teacher's desk and the two students' desk. First, we have the sharpener. I love that there's holes over here to pick from, so um, depending on which size your doll's pencil is. I love this because it makes it so realistic and this is the real process of sharpening a pencil. I love this container for your pencil because it is so realistic, just like all the other items. And I love this pencil um, because it looks very realistic also. And the hard eraser just makes the pencil shine in all its different colors. Next, we have this mug with coffee inside that says, I heart my teacher, so cute. And next we have this plant that's so cool so your dolls can observe its growth every day. It's so realistic feeling, realistic jar and such realistic soil. It feels and looks so real. Next we have the chair, the teacher chair. Um, I love the wheel so you could spin it wherever you want easily. And I love how the doll fits in the chair. Next, we have the teacher's desk. Um, cabinets. I love the small cabinet. It fits the chalk inside for you to draw on the chalkboard. And I love this big one because you can fit so many things in here. I love that they made it so big so there's more space. And it's actually real tape. And I love the stapler. It's so cute and realistic. Lastly, we have this cabinet that you can fit a lot of flat papers in and they have good behavior charts. So I wonder how your dolls are behaving at school. Now I'm going to review the student desk. First, I'm gonna review the blue one with Franco inside. Um, I love um, that there's so many space for your doll um, to write on. And there's a lot of space to put things on the desk. And I love that there's a pencil holder for your pencil to go in when you're done writing. Next, we go inside the desk. So this is a little jar for your doll to drink on. There's a pop-up straw. Love it for when your doll has snack time or lunch. They could just sip it and feel good. <laughs> Next, we have this pencil case. I love that it could contain so many different like pencils and markers and it could fit so much this is a little doll sharpener this is a marker and i'll show you the inside it looks very realistic the yellow one pink one blue one and a dark blue pen a doll eraser next we have the scissors for your doll to cut things in class we have this ruler we have the post-it notes pink ones and i also have the yellow ones i love that it says i heart science on it i love this notebook so many pages for your doll to actually write in there's a mathematics book and a normal sized blue ruler shannon has a lunch box the lunch box contains vanilla pudding a butterfly shaped sandwich um and next we have this container that contains carrots and celery so realistic and we have the spoon for the vanilla pudding i love how there's a thing to close it up so nothing falls out of your doll's lunch case next we have a pencil again on the pink pencil holder so this is the pink desk a lot of space to write on and when you open it, there's a lot. So a different shaped ruler, a normal shaped ruler that is red, a bunch of flashcards for your doll, crayons for your doll. I love the container. And next you got the pencil case with this to make the perfect circle for your doll. You just gotta put the pencil inside. So realistic. We got a red pen. A green pen, a sharpener again, and again an eraser. And I love how this pencil case is a different color, just blue, that could also fit so much. Got a math notebook for the doll, lined paper, 
an art notebook for the doll. I love that it has blank orange paper, so you can draw without any lines in between. There's a calculator. A, like a folder with so many lined paper. And another folder with, so again, so many lined paper. And that is the student desk review. I just wanted to explain the two chairs a little more. So first for the blue desk, it's a perfect size chair for your doll to fit in. And I love that there's so much space and it fits perfectly between the chair and the desk. And I also love how they put this on the bottom so it could connect. So now we took the teacher desk and the desk out. So this is how the room looks without all of it. So there's a lot of space and I absolutely love that about the OG school room. So it starts off with the recycling bins. I love how it teaches dolls and you to recycle more. Like if you have a paper that you don't need, you can put it in the recycling bin. And I think this is the cutest little two recycling bin ever. Next, um, we have some like good behavior, like some Apple stickers, more index cards in these cubbies. So I love these three cubbies because it is so cute. And you can keep different stuff in each one. Next, there's a light. There's a light here, and that's for the classroom lights to go off if you're taking a mindfulness class. We have the speaker. If the principal or any staff of the school has to make an announcement, we have a clock, and this clock actually works on real time. And that's how you write on the chalkboard. I love how it's so cute, and you can even keep your little chalks down here. And next, we have this window. So our room's blue, so it actually looks like the sky. So I love um, how it fits in and you can open it. You could also close the window all the way. And also this is the dry erase board. The coolest part is that it lights up so the whole class can focus. And it's really easy to turn it on and off. There's also like this um, vent Next, there's this butterfly frame, and it teaches different kinds of butterflies, and it's really cute, and I love where it sits. We also have a, a pin. These are supposed to go on this bulletin board, and I love this one because it actually holds a poster of people from all over the world holding hands so this would be really good for social studies and overall just good for anything and it's a really good shelf and it's useful you could put notebooks there you don't have to put those pens there but anything you like <laughs> There's this door, and this is such a realistic door. Man, I'm late to class. Now we are going to flip the school in five, four, three, two, one. So I love these doors, they're so realistic. I love all their um these patterns and this is amazing. So also these windows you can open from here. So you can close it, open it. And I love the brick pattern. So here I love how the bricks are blue instead because it's such a pop color. And here's the fire drill sound. So I'm gonna make this the fire drill happen. <laughs> Next, this is the door to get into the school. So this is Phoebe, and she's going to be my example to walk through the door. And it would work with if you put up your doll, have a backpack or anything. And I love this door. Next, we have lockers. These lockers are amazing. So we have some bins to keep stuff in, which is something cool. And here you could just keep some, like when you're going to your locker to change things, this, is, this would be a helpful item. So there's three little cubbies. 
So here's a backpack. My grandma sewed this backpack. Then there's another backpack my grandma sewed. This could be your doll's schoolyard. And this schoolroom is overall just amazing. That's my presentation. A plus, Addy. Remember, girls! On Wednesdays, we wear pink. How does this new outfit look on me? Good, right? It's pretty in pink. Move out of the way, dork. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Here, let me help you up. We should work together and make a plan to stop bullying. Bullying makes people feel bad. So, you want to be friends? Sure, we'll make really good friends. Did you hear? Grace won the spelling beat last night. It was all over TV. She's like a queen bee. It's like she owns and runs a school, which is exactly a queen bee's job. That is what everyone's calling her now. Queen bee. She's the queen and we are all the other bees in the hive. Wanna come over to my house after school? We can make posters about anti-bullying. Perfect. I'm in. Also, maybe we should become friends with them. They might be really nice. Uh, I don't know. But tomorrow, we can hold our posters up. We want peace. We want respect. On Fridays, we wear purple. What's going on? Did our posters really work? We're sorry for bullying you. Let's be friends. Franco was right. It's better being friends than going against each other. On Fridays, let's be friends. Every day, let's be friends.
Hope you enjoy our Our Generation Schoolroom Review. Don't forget to subscribe, give a like, and check out our other channel, I Love Projects, on our channel, Life as an AG Doll. Bye, thanks for watching. And what are you going to teach your dolls at Our Generation Schoolroom? I think you should teach them about our channel, Life as an AG Doll, and I Love Projects. You should teach them crafts from our videos.